Over the past year, we've added some additional functionality to the model editor. On the left-hand side, you'll notice both the mapping buttons and the mapping toolset sections. Both of these sections are designed to help you configure your design, field, and office workflows. Let's start with the mapping buttons. You'll notice that all of your existing buttons are listed in the second column. Press the plus button to create a new map button. After naming the button, press create. The first field that will need to be completed is a brief description of what the button does. Then, select an icon and the color for your new button. Select a button type based on the functionality your workflow needs. Custom functions can be used for advanced features, but this will require custom coding from our developers. Contact us for more information. Once you've selected a button type, add the attributes that you'd like the new nodes or sections to come into your map with. Now, you'll have the option to open these new attributes for editing or to keep the map focused on the new location drawn. Don't forget to save your new button in the upper right when you're done. Next, we'll need to add this button to a new or existing toolset. Click Mapping Toolsets to get started. Click the plus to create a new toolset or open an existing one. Search for your new Map button under the Add Button section, then rearrange the button until it is in the right order. You can also add a keyboard shortcut to design even faster in Catapult Maps. Once you hit save, you can return to maps to start using your new toolsets and buttons. Thanks for watching.